This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Okay, for this video I wanted to see, so essentially I think the Universal Audio Dream uh, is very well regarded, I think for quite good reason because it's a great sounding little pedal, very expensive though, um, I think my best kind of thing about it, my favourite thing is the reverb, but anyway what I wanted to see is it, I don't know, that's opinion based in it, but can we get the HX Stomp to sound close is, is what I'm interested in. So this is in the loop um, and I'm using... Uh, a dual cab thing with the US Deluxe and um, <clears throat> I'll just show you where we're at stock settings wise that's the dream and that's the Deluxe vibrato as it is once we've just pulled that up so I think what you'll initially kind of hear is that there's more bass with the dream so let's get in and start seeing what we can do now there is no master volume on a deluxe reverb so i'm gonna i think leave that for now um but we can see that on here the treble is pulled back a bit um so maybe to about 3.5 there is no mid control as far as i'm aware either so what i'm going to do just push the bass up a bit um i'll probably leave the drive roughly where it is So let's just turn this mix down a bit as well. I think we've still got more volume that we could add. So one of the, the things that I find really difficult about this stuff is actually just matching volume. So the, the general tone I'm finding a bit similar there, but there's definitely more bass response on the Deluxe over here. And this is still brighter, so I'm going to take that treble down more 
Um, and let's see, now this is the dream. So what I could do if I want to get um, some of this maybe a little bit closer to the low high shelf if we take this low frequency down to about 150 this is a thing that I have sort of noticed in a bunch of other modelers I say I noticed I think it might have been Eagle that initially showed me this um, but there seems to be maybe to compensate for the kind of feel aspect of some of this going direct thing that some devices maybe overhype the low ends or maybe helix underhypes them depending on how you want to think about it so this is now with that I still think we got a bit more let me take that down to five. Definitely got more, a bit more bite to this one here. Maybe I'll take the drive down a bit. And, you know, less highs, more mids. It's, maybe I should take the mids up. seems like that has more mid so maybe if I um, have a mess with the bias is a bit louder now so I'm going to take that channel volume down a bit
And what happens if we then start to chuck a drive in front of it? Let's have a little listen. Um, so, sign to that foot switch. Um, So I think I'd have to conclude that we can certainly get things pretty close, right? And by the time You know, if you added <clears throat> some bits and pieces here in the dream now. Things I find sound a, a little bit more similar than in my head you'd think they would. Uh, let's just do some gain stuff. Um, so if I max the gain out, let's see what we get. Um, let's really crank the drive on this. I might take the volume down to just compensate a bit. Um, Keeping that kind of, it still has less mids in this one, um, but aside from that, it's kind of. And this has a bit of a. little bit more ratty kind of sound to the uh, Helix model, a bit more gain I think, so let's maybe take that. I think the Deluxe Normal potentially is going to maybe be a smidge closer, um, so get the bass up here a bit and the trebles down here, presence off. Um.
we put gain in front of it. I do actually think the Helix is less kind of compressed and is doing more work, you know, if I start to back off the volume or something. I don't know, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is that close enough that you feel like you could make do with the HX Stomp or is this heads and shoulders above it? How do you feel about that? Um, as I say, most of the time I find that to get a Helix model to kind of compete with some of these other things, sometimes doing things like affecting the low gain and high gain can help, you know, sort of balance things out a bit. Um, I don't know which is more accurate. Um, but yeah, that's kind of... Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Cheers for now.